I'm gonna show you. I don't think that the littles caused this at all. That's right, we're gonna play a little detective here. You can see that these had staples in them that were holding things in place, right? Looky here. Did you want y'all do that? What? Did you see who did it then? If it wasn't you, why are you putting your ears back? And why is, excuse me, gentlemen. You know who did it, Bucky's? Voodoo, he's pointing to you. Friends, it is a sloppy, sloppy day, but I think, I think we are in a, in a pocket of no rain. And it is a Saturday morning and it's time for chores. And the first chore on the list is check every fence. Let's go. You'll be pleased to see I knew exactly where my tools were. It's just that I have to go find some staples because there's nothing that bothers me more than to be like literally all the way across the property and be like, oh, this fence panel is loose and now I gotta go walk all the way back. Plus it's muddy and slippery and wet and we're only out here for a brief moment in time. And as I'm walking out here, I see an issue. I don't know what goat this is of Kim's, but it's stuck. Come on, love. Let me help you. Billy, I'm not coming for you. It's not time to eat. Sweetie, what could possibly be on the outside that you... Granny, I'm not coming to feed you. I am not feeding you either. It is so sloppy. I know I'm not supposed to complain about rain, but I want a little bit of sunshine. Just a smidge, just a smidge to dry some of this up because I feel so... Really? I got like three foot away. Hi, Fern. Hi, Granny. It's not time to eat yet. I got three foot away from you, and now you're going to do that? <sighs> I put my tools down. I literally dropped my tools so that I could walk over here and do this first. <laughs> oh, God's got some jokes today, guys. God's got some jokes. All right, let's get this started. Well, hi, kitty kitty. You're not hissy. <laughs> Dan. Hello, my love. You get a good shower this morning? Hi, sweetie. How are you? You're wet. You stood out in the rain today. Hi, Andy. Are you gonna really do that? Are you gonna bite Dan in the booty? Dan's like, not today, kid. Not today. Hi, Bucky's. Come to check out my work. All right, so we got some bending that's happening here. I don't like that. Now, the good news is, is that the wood actually doesn't require me to screw anything in right there, but that that's gonna need a couple staples. Not too shabby. Let's get her done. All right, now don't be judging how many times it takes me to hit the dang staple in here. Because it's not as easy as it looks, okay? Not that it's that hard to hit this. Let's do one more up here. This might be boring to y'all. A lot of times I will see everybody put their staples like this and I look at it and go, maybe I should cross it both places because then it really gets it nailed down. Is that necessary? I don't know. Do I enjoy it? Yes, I like to be different, Buckies. Let's get it done. Donkey Dan, you gonna walk with me? Who did that? As I'm noticing, somebody's been pushing out here. Now, we have pigs and littles that have been out here for the last couple nights I guess maybe it's one night but I'm noticing that they've been doing some pushing so it looks like I got some staple work to do in a few places so far I haven't found any boards thank goodness 
But let me get this one done. I'm not good at stapling buckies. I'm just not. Boys, let me show you something. So this has been popped up. I was talking to these guys. Anyway, I'm gonna show you. I don't think that the littles caused this at all. That's right, we're gonna play a little detective here. You can see that these had staples in them that were holding things in place, right? Looky here. Did you want y'all do that? What? Did you see who did it then if it wasn't you? Why are you putting your ears back and why is, excuse me, gentlemen. You know who did it, Bucky's? Voodoo, he's pointing to you. Why would you push down here? That's really weird. That's a strange place to push, seriously. And that's fresh because look, it's right on top of the dirt. The holes are literally right there. You know about it, Bucky's? Well, we're gonna fix it and we're gonna keep looking because that means that there's probably more spaces. Why would you wanna be in here? This is like the, the crib area. This is like, it's like the playpen, the bullpen. Why on earth would you wanna be in here? Are you fighting to get in or is something? <sighs> I don't think that he wants to hear about it, Bucky's. I don't think that he really did. I think you two are messing with me. Voodoo says that you are absolutely messing with me. Fine, okay, I'll just fix it and I'll quit talking about it. Well, hello, Danny boy. Good to see you, my ninja. Yes, Dan has always been my little work ninja. In all of our build videos and all projects, if Donkey Dan has access, Donkey Dan is coming to see what's going on. Do you know what happened right here? Any ideas at all? Do you have any idea who might have been pushing to get in here? I just want to know, was it a predator? Don't bite me. Don't you bite my jacket. It wasn't me. I, why would I want to be in the bullpen? Come on now. Let's get this fixed. Ivy, you want to... Everybody wants to tell on somebody. I see it. So whenever y'all get ready, let me know and I'll turn my camera back on. But I got to get some work done here. Yeah. We repurposed that old staple, Bucky's. We do not have waste around here, okay? It's back in. No pushing, Ivy, no pushing. You know, people are gonna blame you. You're sneaking up on me like Donkey Dan does. Trudy, do not bite me in the booty, okay? But you're sneaking up on me. And here's the thing. I'm finding lots of places where there's holes where staples were, like very recent holes. And now this time is a bigger mystery because the staple I can't seem to find. If everyone can just, back up a little bit so I can work here. Corny, you're not coming in here. This is a bullpen, okay? I don't even see a bull in here. I see, Waylon's up with the dang littles, okay? And everybody else that's in here, I, I realize that you might have a story to tell and if you wanna tell me about it, I'm happy to do that. But if you could just not ram me in the butt while I'm working on this, that would be super great. Cause I'm also trying to use my brain a little bit. And I don't know if you know this, but I'm not very hand-eye coordinated, okay? I'm not so skilled in the fencing arena. But today's my day and I'm doing my best. So don't be laughing, okay? Don't be laughing. It's gonna get loud, sorry. This fence is several years old. It was built to hold in Tex and it did. And for whatever reason, I think it's worse when it's moist that this wood sort of like gets soft enough. It's treated lumber, but it gets soft enough to where if they push on it, it'll let those staples pull out. And well, we have to be extra cautious during, you know, rainy, wet weather like this. So everybody, is super interested but I am finding a lot of places where they've pushed the staples out today and well we just we're gonna keep going uh what are y'all doing out here you just thought you'd take a walk and see the new pond the new to you pond it's full I hope you enjoy your visit good luck to you so one neat thing that I am noticing is that 
the wood isn't coming unscrewed. So that's a big bonus. Um, you know, things we worry about a lot are if anything is, you know, flimsy or able for an animal to push through, if they push halfway through and there's something sticking out, it could absolutely puncture them, scrape the whole way down. It would be awful, actually. Uh, I can show you that something's been trying to get in back here. We're gonna need a whole new board. Holy moly. Here I am talking about how none of the wood's unscrewed and then something plowed into this. I gotta go see what kind of boards we got in the barn. Cause that needs a whole new, that needs a whole new piece by far. Okay, make note of this one. We aren't done yet, gunpowder. But as we're walking, we might as well keep on keeping on. This, this fence held Tex, this fence held Carl, and the girls, and the little tiny babies. You can still see the chicken wire that's on the bottom of here. Um, but there are things that try to come in and out. I don't like that, but there's chicken wire below it that's still attached. You can't see it very well, but something's pushed on that. Sometimes I wonder, do they find a way in and then they can't get out and yeah. Scary. This fence was not made for littles. This fence was made for a giant bull who couldn't climb that foot below. But when we started to have ostrich babies, we realized how vulnerable that they were to predators. So Lester and I came out here and installed chicken wire on the bottom. Oh, so far this looks pretty good. It's that backside, which makes me wonder like, seriously, what is, Dan, what is trying to come in here? Because you can tell by which side things are happening on. You know, I made a joke and said that they were trying to get out, but they're not because they push. They don't know how to pull. They don't know how to open doors that way, like pull it towards you. So something's pushing from the back side, trying to get in there. I don't know, it could be Moo. It could be Moo's head trying to push when the uh, others are up here eating. Some of these metal pieces are a little bit bent, but not bad and they're still attached. It's just sometimes at the bottom they get shoved or whatnot. This looks pretty good, all things considered. Y'all have to realize that some of these fences were built several years ago and have withstood many things. This is, this is leaning all because of Carl. This right here eventually has to be replaced. It is not good for it to lean like this. This is not a Jamie project today though. I can assure you of that. It's still serving its purpose. It's just not pretty and it's not, it's not as integritous as we would like it to be. So that'll be a spring project, but not a today because we have this gate open right now to where the cows can go back and forth. Everybody can actually go back and forth, including these guys, as you can see. Oh, there is a little bit of sun coming out. I'm ex just as excited as y'all are. So, I'm gonna walk up and down this one more place here. Um, all these boards look pretty good. I wanna look at this lane here. Make sure we're okay. All of this looks really good actually. It's attached well, it's got staples in all the right spots. The wood is good. Yeah, this is all good. This is another fence that's leaning, I'm guessing from Carl. Because if you look, we got a leaner. It happens over time. Um, you know, when we go through wet periods like this, it's not a good time to reset post because they're not gonna stand up straight and, and sustain. And the ground here is, pretty sandy so oh Dan's gonna go ahead and have a little moment you okay Dan I didn't mean to catch you in your moment but it needs it doesn't need to be like rock hard like everything was last summer but after you go through a drought and then you go through a wet spell like we are right now things are gonna shuffle and shift and that's when you just start to make plans to repair all right, looks like the back side is pretty good. I'm gonna walk back here as well to check on things, but we gotta do littles up front. Guys, it is sloppy up here today. 
I'm so sorry. It's firm enough that I'm standing and not sinking or anything like that, but just after it rains so much, it just looks nasty out here. I would prefer to have beautiful green grass, but it turns out everybody triples it here and there's never gonna have green grass in this area again. Sorry, Rip, sorry. All right, Miss Ivy. So it's always best that we check both sides of the fence. I know that seems really silly, but it's important. And okay, okay, I see a spot. Waylon, you can't come out and play. Not out here. Yeah, see, this is where you start to notice. We gotta fix that. No good. Don't be laughing at my screw skills, okay? Nobody said they had to be perfect, but you know what? It's attached now. Ain't nobody getting out there. Definitely getting my steps in today. Some of these cattle panels actually have came bent to us and I mean, they're not like crazy bent, can't use them, but they weren't smooth and straight like you hope that they'll be. That's farm stuff though. I don't really like this. I'm gonna fix that too. Even though it's a middle board, I still don't like it. That breaks down the integrity of the fence. to see my double chin. Well, it's raining again, but it's okay. I guess help is here. That's right, Lester's home, and he said he'd help me. So step one of help is feeding everyone <laughs> to make sure that they don't get in the way. And poor Dan's like, uh, do I get to eat? Yes, yes, Danny boy, you do. Oh boy, horses are excited, I have to tell you. They sure are beautiful when they run. Hi, baby. I'm coming here to hold the gate for dad, okay? I don't actually have the food, per se. The thing that I just realized, though, is that dad is gonna pour out here and all the littles are gonna come running out here to eat too and he didn't pour food for the littles. That's probably a problem, huh? They're like, it's not my problem. I'm gonna eat. Jolene, be sweet to that boy. Love him. Jolene, love him. Stop being mean. All I wanna do is finish fence work. I got one spot over here that's gotta be fixed, like big fix, and then I can finish the rest of my inspection, okay? All right. Waylon, don't even think about it. This is not the way to get women, and green is old anyway. So I think that the horses must like come around here or the cows must use this to brush up on because why else would this be bent that way? First I'm gonna get this board. Are, are you asking me or are you talking to yourself? I was talking to myself, but since you, I know you have an opinion. I'm not even here. Okay. I'm just your videographer. Well, I'm happy that you came home. That board's okay. That board's okay. That board's okay. That board's okay, that board's okay, and that board's okay. All right, next up is staples. I and bet that got good. turned by the tractor turning too sharp. The tire grabbed it. Oh, how would you know that? I'm just saying a horse or wouldn't do that. Oh, so you did. Horses wouldn't turn corners that so sharp. So you're saying you did it. Move over, I got an idea. You're gonna... Staple it to the post itself if you can, babe. That'd be a lot stronger than the board. You don't think I should go through it both? Because I got a big okay. staple. Oh gosh. <laughs> Man, that's something. Here you go, let me see it. Hold on. I got it. I N D E P E N D E N T. Do you know what that means? She got her own car. She got her own house. She got her own. Yeah, Miss Independent here. Hammer. Her own hammer. hammer. Let me show you a cigarette? No. Yeah. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that means? I think that I should... Man, there's no way. 
I feel like I should put that against there, but I don't know how. You got an idea about that? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what is it? Oh. Putting those Marl cats on. Oh, oh! You about split it your pants right there. It is slippery. Go you above. about split all the things. <laughs> no, that's my shin. Oh. Baby! That's my shin you're looking at here. You can't bounce like that. Uh, my shoes are slippery. I N D E P E N D E N T. Do you know what that means? She got her own car. She got her own house. She got some. She got some. She don't need you to pay her life bill. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay. Now I see another spot. Uh huh. Come on, Miss Independent. Here's the thing. So my fencing hero is here working on that, and I decided that I would go ahead and. You know, round up the troops, but I have to point this out. Look who is sharing with Jolene. Oh, Lenny, I don't think you're gonna be allowed. But Pebbles was, and that was cute. Oh, nope, she told him no. She was like, uh, no, sir, no. Pebbles literally was eating food with Jolene, which was adorable. All right, Waylon is scared of everyone. I'm gonna bring him this food. Got a lot of help. 